Hi, it's Dwyer. Today is Thursday, November the 15th, 2018. Gamblersadvisory.com, bettingangle.us. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, the purpose of this video is just to talk about an excellent play that right now has presented itself in the NFL futures market. Right now, your goal here is to have a team that you can hedge against as they get deep in the playoffs. Right? The idea is if I have a team at, let's say, 5-1, to one, and they make the conference championship, then I can bet a little bit on the team that's playing against them. Right? If my 5-1 to one team wins and gets into the Super Bowl, then great. I've only given back some of the expected winnings. I'm still alive. The bigger the odds you get, the greater the hedging opportunity. Ideally, you want to get so much leverage that you're on both sides of the play and you're going to win regardless of who wins the game. Right? The time to get that leverage is now, months before the end of the season. So, there is a big-time value on the board that's a little bit shocking given the history of the league. Who would you prefer? Let's just talk about it this way. Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, a first-year starter. That's what Pat Mahomes is. A first-year starter as your team to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl? Let's remember, it's not just Pat Mahomes that's inexperienced, right? You also have Andy Reid, who has gotten deep in the playoffs many times, but who's only gotten to the Super Bowl once. Now, would you rather that team, a team in a division that even now they're going to have to fight to win, right? Because the Los Angeles Chargers are in the AFC West, aren't they? Right? Well, think about the last first-year starting quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Folks, you really have to dig deep, don't you? You really do. Now, compare and contrast the Kansas City Chiefs, who are going off at a plus 500 right now, with a team where the quarterback has won five Super Bowls, where the team is part of the biggest comeback in Super Bowl history, where they're in a division where the other teams are the Jets, the Bills, and the Dolphins. Right? They're almost guaranteed to win that division. They're coming off the loss. They've slipped. Would you believe right now you can get the New England Patriots, who are 7-3 and three as I make this video, the New England Patriots with Belichick, with Brady, a team that ironically has already beaten the Kansas City Chiefs. You can actually get them at longer odds than the Chiefs. You can get them at plus 650. Right? I think that's the obvious play here. I think that's the obvious play. I don't know whether the New England Patriots win the AFC. But I do think I know that they're perfectly positioned for a deep run in the playoffs. Understand, folks, they have one of the easiest remaining schedules in the league. Look it up. Look at the teams they play. Compare and contrast them with the Kansas City Chiefs or the New Orleans Saints or the Rams. Let's talk about the Rams and Saints. You know... If I'm focused on the AFC, do I really have to worry about the NFC side of the play? The Rams are a plus 350. The Saints are a plus 400. Right? Again, shorter odds than you're getting on the New England Patriots. 
The last I checked, the NFC team has to play the AFC team in the Super Bowl. Right? Understand, the Rams and Saints are going to eliminate one of them. Right? That's the way the playoffs work. Right? You got other teams in the NFC, right? The Vikings, the Bears, the Panthers. Okay, I get it. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. There's only going to be one team coming out of the NFC. Why should I accept short odds for the NFC representative when I'm looking at an AFC situation where it's a first-year starting quarterback? Folks, Pat Mahomes went weeks without throwing a pick. Then he started throwing picks. Eliminate the very early weeks of the season. Andrew Luck is matching him in touchdowns now. Right? Pat Mahomes is an MVP candidate. No one knew what he was going to do. Now they have film on him. Right? If you're like me, and you routinely fade inexperienced quarterbacks in the playoffs, right? All I'm saying to you is, wow, aren't you a little concerned that Pat Mahomes is throwing picks these days? And that by the time you get to the playoffs, a defensive guru like Bill Belichick is going to have a lot more games to figure out how to slow him down that much more. Aren't you concerned about KC's defense, folks? That D's not that good. Let's talk about some other teams in the AFC. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Everyone's excited about them. I keep hearing about James Conner, the running back. Folks, he's not Levy and Bell. I heard NFL scout Bucky Brooks on a Fox Sports show earlier, and he spelled it out perfectly. He said he spoke to a defensive coordinator, and the coordinator talked about how with Levy and Bell, you didn't know what the Steelers were going to do. Right? Levy and Bell was a guy who could be out running routes. Right? As a defensive coordinator, you had to worry about guys like Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster, and here's this running back who just happened to be one of the elite players in the league, and you just didn't know if he was going to run between the tackles or if he was going to be <laughs> running routes and stuff. Just impossible to fully prepare for. Now, James Conner is, what, a first-year starter? James Conner is so good that the franchise franchised Levy and Bell for the second consecutive year this year. Second time. The franchise actually offered Levy and Bell a long-term deal. Didn't have enough guaranteed money, but understand they made the contract offer to him. Now, James Conner, I have no doubt, is an excellent young player, and I understand in some ways He's better running the football than Levy and Bell in terms of explosive yards and stuff like that. Okay, great. I'll buy all of that. He's not Levy and Bell. There's a big difference for a defensive coordinator who knows that your running back is going to be running the football as opposed to dealing with Levy and Bell where you just don't know where he's going to be on the field. And anywhere the guy is, the guy can hurt you. So I don't believe the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, by the way, routinely lose, routinely lose to the Patriots in the playoffs, right? I'm not sure if the Pittsburgh Steelers are really going to challenge the Patriots this year. Let's talk about the Chargers. Wow, they've played some close games, haven't they? <laughs> I mean, some of their games, that Seattle game. With Russell Wilson. Wow, didn't that come down to like the last play? What about that London game? Are you sure this team, a team that doesn't play in a big arena, that doesn't really have a home field? In other words, if they play the Steelers or the Patriots and they have home field advantage in the playoffs, are you sure they're even going to have home field advantage in the playoffs? Are you sure they're not going to be playing before a crowd of Steeler fans or a crowd of Patriot fans. Right? Let's face it, too. When it comes down to knowing what to expect, Philip Rivers has been to no Super Bowls. Am I right about that? 
if we're going to be comparing the Chargers to, let's say, Big Ben or Tom Terrific, I mean, gee, let's face it, this Charger team is a little bit lacking in experience, aren't they? So let me just say this. For me, in the NFL futures market, the best bet on the board, and you're not going to get this bet again unless the Patriots lose again. Right? The best bet on the board are the New England Patriots. Look at the splits. Try beating Tom Brady in cold weather. Look at the teams fighting in the division. Folks, the Patriots are, <laughs> we'll just be diplomatic here, they're a cut above. Right? They're, to me, a safer bet to win their division than almost any other team in football this year. Right? When they get to the playoffs, wow, are you going to bet against the Patriots in the playoffs <laughs> with a first-year starting quarterback? I know Mahomes has looked great. <clears throat> right? This is the time of year where first-year guys look great. I just want you to go back and remember what happened to Carson Wentz, right? Young quarterback after a great start his first year. Right? Guys go through rough moments. This year, Deshaun Watson, I know Houston's bounce back, but Deshaun Watson early on this year went through some growing pains. Right? Think about the Super Bowl winning quarterbacks in the league. Folks, they're not that many. They're just not. And other than Russell Wilson, which one of those Super Bowl winning quarterbacks won the Super Bowl very early in their careers. Right? Very few. Very few. So I'm a skeptic on the Kansas City Chiefs. You give me the Patriots at a plus 650. In other words, longer odds. Longer odds. And the casino is giving you with the Rams at plus 350. The Saints at plus 400. Or the Chiefs at plus 500. And to me, it's Christmas time in November. I like the Patriots getting a plus 650. All I'm saying here is, if they're able to get a buy in the playoffs, then you're already in the second round of the playoffs. Right? If they got that buy, that means they play that game in New England their first playoff game in the second round of the playoffs, right? They play that in New England, right? By the time they leave home for the conference championship, right? Who's going to stop them? A first-year starting quarterback? A team without Levy and Bell that they've done well against in the past in the Steelers? Consider the Patriots here at plus 650. I think it's a bet that belongs in your betting portfolio. They were a plus 500 last week. If the Patriots get back to their winning ways, and I'll agree, they've looked bad in some road games. Right? Last week they looked bad. The Detroit game, they looked bad. Right? I'll agree. On the road, they haven't looked great this year. But we're in the part of the season where they're going to start to fine-tune things. They've beaten Kansas City already at home. The only AFC team getting shorter odds than them. Right here, you're getting a plus 650 on the Patriots literally in the middle of November. I think that's too good to pass up in the futures market. I believe you want this bet as part of your betting portfolio. They almost certainly will win the AFC East. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Let me also say this too about the Vikings and Bears. It needs to be said. And Houston Texans, another team in the mix. Are you really going to trust a team where the quarterback 
is in his first year with them. That's the Minnesota Vikings, folks. Are you really going to trust a team with a second-year starter? Who, according to some metrics, hasn't been that accurate deep. Right? Listen to Mike Lombardi's comments. Lombardi is a master. He's a football analyst. I would say he's probably the best out there right now. Listen to Mike Lombardi's comments on Mitch Trubisky. Right? Quarterback of the Chicago Bears. Another team that's in the mix. Understand, Mitch, second-year player. Right? I would argue that that's too early for most quarterbacks to win the Super Bowl. Let's talk about the Houston Texans. Same thing, Deshaun Watson. Right? Let's remember, he's a second-year player who didn't even play all of his first year. He had a great first half of the season. Then he suffered a knee injury. <clears throat> so this is a guy who also doesn't have a lot of starts under his belt. Right? These are the teams that are right below the Chargers in the pecking order for the odds to win the Super Bowl. Right? I would argue that right now, in mid-November, we're going gaga over very young quarterbacks. Right? Trubisky, Watson, Mahomes, Right? You and I know that's not the group you're going to be gaga over when the playoffs start. Because curiously enough, when you look at the guys who have actually won Super Bowls, they tend to be the same names that are the elite quarterbacks in this league year after year after year. Right? Big Ben, Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers. Right, Russell Wilson. I mean, these these are the guys who get to Super Bowls. You don't have a lot of new jacks in that bunch. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.